Hello oh, friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Better Ghost Man, and today we are here for another video. If you cannot tell by the screen, we are here for another Showdown Showcase. This is Season 1, Week Number 3 of the Showdown Showcase. And this week, I decided to showcase Mega Meta- or er, Mega Meta Ghost. That week one, <laughs> decided to showcase Mega Alakazam. There's a particular reason for that, but I'm going to reveal that reason in a separate video. If you want to watch that video when it goes up, then be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. Um, that video is to come in the near future. But without further ado, for those of you who don't know what Showdown Showcase is, it is a series in which I take a Pokemon and I showcase to you guys what you can do with it, some viability sets, some options, things like that, what you can do with it so that you can learn as a competitive player and I can learn as a competitive player. This week we decided to do Mega Alakazam and with that said, let's take a look here first at Mega Alakazam's abilities. Mega Alakazam, when it left, Mega Alakazam after it Mega Evolved gains the Trace ability, which essentially is an ability in which whatever my opponent's ability is, the opponent that I'm staring at next to me on the screen, excuse that pop up there, but the opponent that I'm staring at on the screen uh, across from me, I gain their ability. So for example, Celesteela. Celesteela has a Beast Boost ability. Basically, if I trace Celesteela, which means if I switch in with a Mega Alakazam or Mega Evolve in front of it, whichever or, either switch into it after having Mega Evolve or Mega Evolve on it, um, I trace the Beast Boost ability, which means I get to use it so long as I do not die or do not switch out. Which is very, very, very convenient. So, yeah. So he also gets synchronized, which essentially is an ability in which I get status, you get status with me, unless it doesn't affect you. And a focus is an ability in which you cannot flinch me. And the ideal ability, Magic Guard, prevents the the uh, opponent, the uh, Alakazam, like for a second, prevents Alakazam from taking damage from hazards. Yeah, taking damage from hazards or taking things like toxic damage or burn damage or something like that. Recurring damage is also negated. So, it's basically like Alexander has safety goggles with Magic Guard, basically. So, without further ado, now let's look at what can Mega Alexander do. Mega Alexander is one of those Pokemon that is prone for the four move syndrome. For those of you who don't know what four move syndrome is, four move syndrome is a not actually a disease. Even though it sounds like one, it's not actually a disease, but it's the notion that a Pokemon has too many coverage moves for you to decide what do you want to put on my set. Mega, Mega Alakazam fits to very many different situations. You can, uh, you know, you can run a specific move for something else, but then you need to run some other move for this. So. Mega Alakazam is very, very situationally adaptable, which is what I like about it, is that it can run in pretty much every situation, so long as your team's not hella weak to it, or weak to its weaknesses. But, yeah, so that's what I like about Mega, Mega Alakazam, is that so it's, it's, it's so versatile because of 4-move syndrome. You don't know what 4 moves your Mega Alakazam will run. So, without further ado, now that I've explained a little bit about what 4 Moose Syndrome is, let's actually go through some of his moves. If you wanted to bring an offensive Alakazam, you want to bring Calm Mind on it. Calm Mind allows you to increase your special attack by 1, and just for death as well, which lets you hit harder with your massive base special attack stat. You also get Dazzling Gleam, which is coverage. You get Encore if you want to be, you know, if you want to be, you know, a hazardish. Mega Alakazam. And when I say hazardish, I really mean that if you want to, uh, you know, lock somebody in so you, they can't do anything, 
You also get Facade. You get Focus Blast, which is a coverage move of choice. I think I missed a couple here. So let's scroll back up here. No, yeah, I, I did. Uh, he gets Energy Ball, which is another coverage move. He gets Grass Knot, which is Energy Ball coverage move as well. But another Grass type coverage move. He also gets Any Hidden Power, which is very, very convenient. He gets Ice Punch if you want to be physical. He gets Fire Punch if you want to be physical. He gets Knock Off if you want to be physical, which I don't know why you would. Um, he gets Light Screen, light, blah, 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 light screen and Magic Coat if you want to be a support Mega Alex Exam, which I've never seen before. But you can make it work, make it work. Uh, he also gets Protect because everybody gets Protect. He gets Psychic as his primary stab. He gets Psy Shock, which is another stab option depending on situation. Again, poor move center depending on situation. He gets Psycho Cut because you want to crit it, crit something with him. He gets Reflect, like I said. He gets Light Screen, same thing. Rest, Return, Seismic Toss, Shadow Ball, another coverage move, Signal Beam, another coverage move, Sub, Thunder Punch, Taunt, and Thunder Wave, as well as. Then head and trick as well as toxic. So, Mega Alexam, you don't want to run trick on because it's a mega. You don't want to run it physical because physical versus special, it's got a lot more going for it. Special side, he gets things like Thunder Wave if you want to be utility ish, utility sub, re attack, something like that. So, he's got a lot of different things, it just depends on what you want to run with him. Now, let's take a look at Mega Alexam's base stats, and this is why you should run it. Basic 55 HP, not the best, which again justifies why Mega Alakazam cannot take a hit. Well, regular Alakazam paper thin. Uh, 65 defense, 105 special defense. He is not taking a physical hit, but if you try to give him a special hit, he might take one if you get lucky. But here's why you don't run him physical, or you shouldn't run him physical. His base physical attack stat is 50. His base special attack stat. Is 125 more than that. Base 175 special attack. Hits like a goddamn truck. Mod is nature primarily. Uh, because again, your base 150 speed. Ain't nobody's bitch that's not Choice Scarf outspeeding you. Ain't nobody's bitch that's not Choice Scarf outspeeding you. Without investment. Your speed is 336. Nothing that is not choice scarfed or speed boosted will outspeed you. Nothing naturally without would outspeed you. Base 150. Dangerous. And that 150 is primarily why people run modest by Galakazam. Because you want to hit as hard as possible because you're fast enough anyway. It doesn't matter. Again, Tip in nature, because you can if you would like. It's very, very situational. Again, as I said, form of syndrome for days. So, this is Mega Alakazam in a nutshell. Give him whatever set you want to give him, and you pretty much sit here and sweep. You run combat if you really want to, and then just kind of rip shop, right? Don't do yourself a favor and run Calm Mind on a Contrary Superior, Trace Contrary, and then click Calm Mind, and then just be stuck there with minus one. Because I know somebody who did that. Don't do that. Anyway, now that we've covered why Mega Alexander is so good, and to the answer to that, blah, blah, blah. to answer that question, his ability is very situational. It's very good in most situations. Special attack and speed, dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Now, Mega Alakazam, for those of you who don't know, is very, very situational, as I've already said. So, you have to know when to use it, how to use it, to be able to use it. So, yeah. So, here's a couple. So, now that we've covered, you know, his space stats, his viability, his moveset options, here are some possible sets that you could run in your game, in Sun and Moon, for Mega Alakazam. Keep in mind, this is not all of the sets because again, variable, very, 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 very variable. There's no one set for Alakazam. There's no one set for Mega Alakazam. You don't know what you're gonna run. 
And now that I'm looking at it, I could have built a utility Mega Alakazam, but I didn't. So, but again, that's not a set I would typically run. But the set run on Mega Alakazam is very, very situational. These are not all of the possible sets, these are just some, and I'm going to showcase them. So, let's start off with Mega Alakazam Palm Mine 3 Attacks. Palm Mine 3 Attacks is simply to boost your special attack by 1, and then Rip Shot. Energy Ball Focus Blast are coverage moves that could be substituted, substituted for, like, Grass Knot, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, whatever. Uh, substituted based on situation, but these are typic these two are typically what you see. And then psychic is your stab move of choice. With max special attack, max speed, timid nature, or modest nature, depending on your situation. And then four EVs somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. It's zero attack IVs again because you don't want to get whacked by a foul play and die, which is more likely than not to happen anyway. But zero attack IVs because it doesn't matter. Palm Mine, just to base your special attack, Energy Ball, and Focus Buster, Stab of Choice, or not Stab of Choice, it's Covers of Choice, which could be replaced by any two other moves on Mega Alakazam, and then Psychic is just a stab move I chose. You could also put Psyshock there, again, depending on situation. So, the next set is Sub Palm Mine to attack. Sub Palm Mine is set that I don't see often, but it's a set that I can see working. Substitute, live this, live a hit with Substitute, click Palm Mind, get your special attack up, let the, let the sub die, and then click Focus Blast or Psychic for your two coverage moves. Focus Blast could be substituted for Dazzling Gleam, because it does the exact same thing, uh, because it's a coverage against Dark Types, and I would probably run Dazzling Gleam now that I'm looking at it, but it's up to you. Again, Focus Blast is the more prominent one. Dazzling Gleam will work as well. Notice, all of these Alakazam start off with Magic Card. As base Alakazam, they start off with Magic Card. Why? Because you don't want to take the uh, Stealth Rock damage, Spike damage. You don't, get, you don't want to get Toxic by Toxic Spike. You don't want to take unnecessary damage on Alakazam. So start with Magic Card for that reason. So... We have Psychic here because that's the primary stab. You could also have Psy Shock there. Focus Blast could be Dazzling Gleam, Palm Mind, Sub, to attacks. Timid Max Speed, Max Special Attack, 4 in whatever stat. You could also run this Modest if you wanted to. I would run Timid so that I can get my Sub Palm Mind up without having a problem. But again, situational. The next set is Sub, Focus Blast, Energy Ball, and Psychic. Sub 3 attack. Did I already showcase sub 3 attack? I'm not sure. One moment. No, oh, I did comment 3 attack. The alternative set is sub 3 attack. Sub 3 attack is substitute for free. Timid, obviously, because I need to get my sub up. No attack IVs anywhere because I don't need it. Magic card because I don't need to take unnecessary damage. Substitute, focus blast, psychic, energy ball. Again, focus blast, energy ball. Change it however you see fit. Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, Hidden Power Grass, Hidden Power Fire, Hidden Power Ice, whatever. Put something you need there. These two moves are the more prominent moves that I've seen. That's why I put them there. Psychic is the stab of choice. It could also be Psy Shock, as I have said before. Hit with max special attack, max speed, because I want to hit as hard as, as hard as I possibly can. But I also want to be as fast as I possibly can so that I can get my sub up safely without having any issues or concerns. But if I wanted to, I could also run modest. As I've been saying this entire time, I can also run modest because I'm already fast as shit. The last move set that I am going to showcase is standard four attacks Alakazam. Magic Guard just to uh, magic card just to avoid hazards, just to avoid like statuses and things like that. Um, Mega Evolve into Trace, Focus Blast could be Dazzling Gleam, coverage against Dark type moves, Energy Ball could be any hidden power, could be HP Ice, could be HP Fire, whatever. Uh, Energy Ball is the coverage of choice against Water types. Psychic 
is stab shadow ball is coverage against other psychic types if you really wanted it to be you could have dazzling gleam there if you wanted it to be there's a lot of different moves you can put there but these are the more prominent moves that i've seen on alakazam that's why these are here this alakazam is timid max special attack more uh max special attack max speed timid nature with four in any stat you want to throw it in uh but again as i've said can make this modest with no attack IVs, obviously, because no attack IVs, you don't need the attack IVs. You're not physical. You don't want to get whopped by a foul play and die. So, so yeah, um, four go somewhere else, wherever you want to put them. And then the rest is basically limit or modest, depending on if you want to be offensive or fast. Either one works. Do not be mixed, because the day you run mixed is the day you die. Um... But yeah, that's the last set. My favorite set, to be honest, is four attack standard Alakazam. Why? Because I never know when I can get a sub up safely and live because Alakazam is so paper thin. I never know when I can get a sub up, when I can get a calm mind up. Unless I know my opponent is switching a lot, in which case I would probably run calm mind. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't. Because Alakazam is so frail that you never know when to run Calm Mind. Or, I'm sorry, when to use Calm Mind. You don't know that you'll get Pursuit Trap or whatever. So, this is my favorite set because it's just, it's the most coverage move. But you still have a lot of coverage options. But yeah. So, that is my Alakazam as a, as a Pokemon. What you can do with it. Watch out for four move syndrome. Do whatever you want with those four moves, uh, because there are so many options. My lord, there are so many options. But with that said, I hope that this video, the showcase of Mega Alakazam, was a bit of help to you guys. You may be able to learn why Mega Alakazam is so good, why Mega Alakazam is good, what it can do. What it its abilities are what it's good at what moves it's got access to i hope that you guys learned something about my galaxy from this because that's the goal of this that you learn something um i know i learned something and that is that i want to use my galaxy more because this mod is underused and underappreciated and i think the reason why that is is because of how frail it is but i hope that this video helped you guys i hope you learned something if you did comment down below with what you learned if you would like show some love share the video around so that somebody else can learn too because you never know what you could learn um but with all that said i'll see you guys in the next video which of course will probably be the team builder tactical team builder but i don't know obviously if you enjoy what if you're enjoying what you see on the channel and want to see more of it because showcase is pretty much weekly you learn new things about new pokemon and other things like leagues and wildland lives and team builders and things like that then obviously if you want to see more of that be sure to drop a sub so you don't miss out and you're showing some love also follow me on twitter because twitter's down there and you don't want to miss out on updates for what's to come and what's not to come yada 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 but follow me on twitter in case there's a week that i don't upload and you're just like why ask me on twitter or it's probably on twitter follow me on twitter find out but with all that said i'm gonna go ahead and call this a video um and i'll see you guys in the next video but until then join my man goes man out of here bye y'all